Hello there, this is Andras Velvart, developer of SurfCube, and it is my pleasure to show you the new features of SurfCube 2.0. In SurfCube 1, you already had two ways of navigating this 3D cube. One is just panning from the edge, and then the other one is the uh, accelerometer. But some of our users found these uh, navigation techniques a little bit cumbersome. So we introduced a new way of navigating which is the joystick. And the joystick is a little um, little round arrow thingy down here. If I just press it you can see that it controls the cube and makes it rotate and this rotation is very smooth, there's no glitches, no lags. Um, you can control if you want to see the the cube rotating slowly or fast. If you just click the joystick it goes back to the middle and you can also do little flicks to really fast uh, to navigate the cube really fast. Another thing that you can do with the joystick is tap and hold and move it around so if I'm right-handed my thumb may be more convenient in this position so I just position it here I can also resize it, let me just keep it at a, at a relatively high size so that you can see it. So you can really customize this, uh, this joystick. Another requested feature was tabs and we waited until version 2.0 to make tabs really uh, work and we asked a lot of our users to give us feedback on what they need from tabs. So let me show you how tabs look like in SurfCube 2.0. We already had Bing open, so let me open Google in a new tab. This is uh, Google, and this is in a new tab because on the left side we have this uh, tab. And the left side always uh, shows up like this, it doesn't rotate the cube totally. And here are the tabs, you can just click on them and the switching is instantaneous. Another thing uh, about the tabs is we can have a quick tab bar and I turn it off on in the settings and as you can see on the top we have a, a tab bar this is pretty much like what you used to but it does take up some screen real estate and what we can do with the tabs is let me open up Engadget and this is a typical browsing situation I opened up Engadget <coughs> and I want to see an article, so I just click the article and it loads and I read the article, of course every zooming feature works I press the back button and, and you know it takes, it takes a little time to, to, to go back and reload the Engadget front page so what we can do now is uh, tap and hold on a link and say open in a new tab you see it's opened up in a new tab and after you read the article, if you just press the back button, the tab automatically closes. Of course, if you navigate it forward, then it wouldn't close. Another thing to, you can do is just open up links in, a back, in, in background tabs. And you see, as I, as I browse the Engadget site and find some interesting stuff, I'm opening up background tabs like this. And you can open as many tabs as you like and the switching is still instantaneous. Actually here you can also see that we have a couple of tabs open now. <coughs> uh, just one more thing left to show. If I close a tab, here's this nice little animation that shows that the tab is closed and another tab is now active. So this is our sneak peek at SurfCube 2.0. I hope you like it.